about 900,000 years ago our ancestors faced a crisis. The human population plummeted. This event nearly wiped us out. It's a story etched in our genes, a whisper from the brink of oblivion. This wasn't just a bad year or a rough century. This was a population collapse. We're talking about a reduction so severe that humanity teetered on the edge of extinction. It's a story of survival against impossible odds. And it's a story that scientists are just beginning to piece together. Imagine a world with millions of humans. Now picture that number shrinking to just a few thousand. That's the stark reality our ancestors faced. This period known as a genetic bottleneck left an indelible mark on our species. A genetic bottleneck occurs when a large population is dramatically reduced in size. This reduction can be caused by a variety of factors, such as natural disasters, disease outbreaks, or climate change. In the case of our ancestors, the exact cause of the bottleneck is still a mystery, but the evidence for it is clear. By studying the DNA of modern humans, scientists can trace our lineage back through time, and what they've found is a striking lack of genetic diversity. This lack of diversity suggests that our ancestors went through a period of extreme population shrinkage. It's like looking at a family reunion where everyone looks the same because they're all descended from a small group of individuals. This genetic bottleneck is a crucial clue in understanding our own history. It tells us that our species has faced and overcome incredible challenges. It also highlights the importance of genetic diversity for the survival of a species. But what could have caused such a dramatic decline in the human population? This question has puzzled scientists and historians for decades. To uncover the truth we must delve deep into the annals of history and explore the myriad factors that contributed to this significant event. To answer that question we need to look back at the world as it was 900,000 years ago. This was a time when the earth was vastly different from what we know today. The landscapes were untamed, and the environment was in a constant state of flux. During this time, earth was in the throes of a major climate change event. This wasn't just a minor shift in weather patterns, it was a profound transformation that affected every aspect of life on the planet. Ice sheets were expanding, temperatures were fluctuating, and sea levels were changing. These changes were not gradual but rather rapid and unpredictable, creating a volatile environment for all living creatures. These environmental upheavals would have put immense pressure on early human populations. The challenges they faced were unlike anything we can imagine today. Imagine trying to find food and shelter in a world where the climate was constantly changing. Early humans had to adapt quickly to survive, developing new strategies and tools to cope with their harsh surroundings. Winters were growing longer and harsher, the cold was relentless, and the lack of resources made it even more difficult to endure these brutal conditions. The animals they hunted were migrating or dying out. Resources were becoming scarce. This scarcity forced early humans to travel great distances in search of food, often leading to conflicts with other groups. Life was a daily struggle for survival. Every day was a battle against the elements, against hunger, and against the unknown. Yet, through sheer resilience and ingenuity, early humans managed to persevere, laying the foundations for the world we know today. Section 5. The Suspects Climate Change and Its Discontents While climate change alone could have contributed to the bottleneck, some scientists believe a more dramatic event occurred. They point to evidence of a massive volcanic eruption around the same time as the population crash. This eruption, they argue, could have triggered a volcanic winter, plunging the planet into a prolonged period of darkness and cold. Volcanic eruptions can have a devastating impact on the environment. The ash and gases they release can block out the sun, leading to global cooling. These eruptions can also trigger acid rain, disrupt ecosystems, and cause widespread famine. Section 6. Volcanic Winter Imagine a world shrouded in darkness. The sun, usually a source of warmth and life, is now hidden behind a thick veil of volcanic ash. Temperatures plummet, plants wither and die, animals starve. This is the grim reality of a volcanic winter. Volcanic winters are a stark reminder of the power of nature. They demonstrate how even a single event can have catastrophic consequences for life on Earth. And they offer a sobering glimpse into what our planet might have been like 900,000 years ago. Section 7. The Toba Super Eruption One eruption in particular has caught the attention of scientists, the Toba Super Eruption. 
This cataclysmic event has been a focal point of geological and environmental studies for decades. Occurring around 74,000 years ago, the Toba supereruption was a monumental event that reshaped the landscape and had far-reaching effects on the planet. Toba was one of the largest volcanic eruptions in Earth's history. The sheer scale of this eruption is almost unimaginable, with an estimated 2,800 cubic kilometers of volcanic material ejected. It dwarfed even the massive eruption of Mount Vesuvius that destroyed Pompeii. While Vesuvius is often cited as one of the most catastrophic eruptions in recorded history, Toba's impact was exponentially greater. While the timing of Toba doesn't quite line up with the bottleneck 900,000 years ago, it serves as a potent example of the devastation such events can cause. The Toba eruption is often studied in the context of its potential impact on human evolution and migration patterns. The aftermath of the Toba eruption was catastrophic. It serves as a potent example of the devastation such events can cause. Entire ecosystems were obliterated, and the climate was dramatically altered. The Toba eruption blasted billions of tons of ash and gas into the atmosphere. This ash cloud spread across the globe, blocking sunlight and causing temperatures to drop significantly. This massive injection of aerosols is believed to have caused a global volcanic winter that lasted for years. Temperatures plummeted, leading to widespread crop failures and food shortages, and the planet was plunged into darkness. The sky was darkened for months if not years, leading to a dramatic drop in global temperatures. This period of volcanic winter had profound effects on the environment and life on Earth. Scientists have studied ice core samples to understand the full impact of the Toba eruption. These samples provide a record of the atmospheric changes and help us understand the scale of the event. Some theories suggest that the Toba eruption may have caused a genetic bottleneck in human populations, drastically reducing the number of humans and influencing migration patterns. Today, the site of the eruption is Lake Toba, a serene and beautiful lake that belies the violent history beneath its waters. This lake is a reminder of the incredible power of nature and the resilience of life on Earth. The Toba super eruption remains a subject of intense study and fascination, offering insights into the planet's geological history and the potential impacts of future super eruptions. Section 8. Survivors. So how did our ancestors survive the brink of extinction? The answer likely lies in a combination of factors. Some groups may have found refuge in areas less affected by the environmental upheaval. Others may have adapted their diet and lifestyle to cope with the changing conditions, and still others may have simply been lucky, surviving by chance while others perished. The survivors of this near-extinction event were likely small, isolated groups scattered across the globe. They faced incredible challenges but they also possessed a remarkable resilience. They were adaptable, resourceful and determined to survive. Section 9. The Dawn of Innovation. In the annals of human history there are few periods as transformative as the dawn of innovation. This era marked a significant turning point for our ancestors, who began to harness the power of their environment in unprecedented ways. The challenges faced by our ancestors may have even spurred innovation. As they encountered harsh climates, dangerous predators and scarce resources, they were forced to think outside the box. These challenges were not just obstacles but opportunities for growth and development. Forced to adapt to new environments and food sources, early humans had to become resourceful. They learned to identify edible plants, hunt more efficiently, and even fish in rivers and lakes. This adaptability was crucial for their survival and laid the groundwork for future advancements. They may have developed new tools and technologies. Simple stone tools evolved into more complex instruments, such as spears and arrows, which made hunting more effective. The invention of fire allowed them to cook food, providing better nutrition and making previously inedible items safe to consume. This period of adversity could have been a crucible for human ingenuity, pushing our ancestors to think creatively and solve problems in new ways. They began to understand the properties of different materials, leading to the creation of pottery, weaving, and other crafts pushing our ancestors to think creatively and solve problems in new ways. They developed social structures and communication methods that allowed them to share knowledge and work together more effectively. This collaboration was key to overcoming the many challenges they faced. The development of new tools and technologies would have been essential for survival in a changing world. Innovations such as the wheel and the plow revolutionized agriculture, enabling them to cultivate land more efficiently and support larger communities. 
it would have allowed our ancestors to exploit new resources such as metal, which led to the creation of stronger tools and weapons. This technological leap provided a significant advantage in both hunting and defense. Protect themselves from the elements. They built sturdier shelters using wood, stone, and other materials, which offered better protection against the weather and predators. These advancements in construction techniques were vital for their continued survival, and ultimately thrive in environments that would have been uninhabitable just a few generations earlier. The ability to innovate and adapt was not just a survival mechanism but a driving force that propelled humanity forward, setting the stage for the complex societies and technologies we enjoy today. Section 10. Echoes of the Past The story of the near-extinction event 900,000 years ago is a powerful reminder of the fragility of life. It shows us that even the most successful species can be pushed to the brink by environmental change. And it highlights the importance of understanding the forces that have shaped our planet and our species. By studying the past, we can gain a better understanding of the challenges we face today. We can learn from the mistakes of our ancestors and find ways to create a more sustainable future for ourselves and for all life on Earth. Section 11. The Importance of Understanding Catastrophe The near-extinction event 900,000 years ago is more than just an interesting footnote in human history. It's a stark reminder that we are not immune to the forces of nature. By understanding the events that nearly wiped out our species, we can gain a better appreciation for the challenges we face today. We can learn from the resilience of our ancestors and find ways to create a more sustainable future. The past is not just prologue, it's a roadmap for survival. 